Welcome to today's video where we'll be talking about concrete, one of the most widely used building materials in the world. But, is concrete really as sustainable as we think it is? Concrete is the most widely used man-made materials in existence. It is second only to water as the most consumed resource on the planet. It has some excellent properties. For example, it has high thermal mass, meaning that buildings made from it can retain heat and keep cool for longer and it's also very resilient and lasts a long time. Let's have a look at what's in concrete to try and understand its environmental footprint. Typically, nearly half of concrete is made up from coarse aggregates and gravel. Then fine sands and aggregates make up about a quarter of the whole. Concrete needs significant amounts of water to help the chemical reactions needed, and then the remainder is mostly cement with a small proportion of air. Cement is one of the key ingredients in concrete, helping bind together the other materials. It has shaped much of our built environment, but it also has a massive carbon footprint. Cement is made by heating limestone and clay to very high temperatures. This process releases a significant amount of carbon dioxide, making cement production responsible for around 8% of global carbon emissions. For every tonne of concrete produced, assuming nothing special is done to change the specification, about one tonne of carbon dioxide can be produced. So, how can we make our projects use concrete more sustainably? Well, the principles outlined in the PAZZ 2080 standard provide a great framework and a hierarchical approach to carbon reduction. Do we need to build it at all? If we do, can we build less of it and perhaps make the concrete slabs thinner? If we still need to build it, can we change the specification to remove or replace the cement with something else that has fewer impacts? And lastly, are there any new technologies or approaches and ways to reduce waste that can help reduce the impact? To reduce the environmental impact of concrete, there are several sustainable alternatives to cement. GGBS or ground granulated blast furnace slag and PFA or pulverized fuel ash are two commonly used replacements that can reduce carbon emissions by up to 80%. The materials are the byproduct of other industrial processes, so their embodied carbon has already been accounted for. This also avoids these materials being wasted and they can improve the durability of the concrete, reducing the need for maintenance and replacement over the life of the structure. However, there can be supply chain issues that can impact availability and price. Quality and consistency may be more variable depending on the source of the material, and color may be affected. The production of GGBS and PFA may have some environmental concerns arising from the release of heavy metals and other pollutants into the air and water during its production. The strike time, which is the time that the concrete takes to set, so that formwork or shuttering can be removed may be longer, which can affect the construction schedule. We also need to consider whether the materials are sustainably sourced and are covered by certifications such as the BES 6001 standard. One problem for novel cement replacements can be that they are not yet accepted by engineering specifications. Engineers need materials to conform to standards so that the materials are safe to use and buildings or structures do not collapse. Overall, the use of GGBS and PFA as cement replacements in concrete can provide environmental benefits, but careful consideration of the potential issues and supply concerns is necessary to ensure that the concrete meets the required specifications and environmental standards. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this useful and interesting, and if you did, please like and subscribe to flag this to other YouTube users who may benefit. Please feel free to leave any comments.